Hello and welcome to another episode of the SRX Championship Mode. Uh, we're getting ready to do race number three of six. Um, and this one's going to be at Eldora. Uh, if you missed the last video, uh, we ran Knoxville. We had a great race there. Um, so this is the second and final dirt race of the season. Um, we're currently sitting in fifth place. If we go take a look at the point standings, uh, we do have one win. Uh, we're at 55 points. Uh, Elio Castroneves has pretty much been dominant this entire season. Um, first two races, he finished inside the top ten uh, both times. So, uh, or sorry, inside the top five both ten times. So, um, he is definitely one to watch. Uh, we're only 33 points back from him, so it's not completely out of the question to win the championship. But it's going to be a difficult task. We're going to have to win, win heats, win races. Uh, the whole nine yards. So uh, with that, we will jump over into uh, the race. It looks like it's going to be a uh, 27 minutes. I don't know what that translates to in lap time, but it's probably going to be two six minute heats and a 30 lap race. So um, I'll do some, I'll run some practice laps and make sure the car feels good. And uh, we will see you when we're ready for the race. All right. So take a look. I only ran five laps. I ran some more and then I backed out. Um, so I actually ended up bumping up the uh, difficulty a little bit because <laughs> my times were way too fast to be running them at 100. So I actually bumped up the difficulty to a 103. Um, I'm still faster than a lot of these guys. Or excuse me, I didn't bump it up to 103. I bumped it up to 102. Um, like I said, I'm still faster than some of these guys. I could bump it up a lot, fat, a lot harder, but Honestly, it's hard to fine-tune it because the difference between each level, uh, like 101, 102, the difference is very high. So if I bumped it up again, I'd probably get annihilated. Um, but anyways, uh, so we're going to go into the race session, see where uh, I'm going to be starting. So it looks like I'm starting fourth uh, on the outside, so that's actually going to be a disadvantage. We're better on the inside. Uh, looks like Scott Speed actually got the pole. This is interesting. Green flag is out. We're underway here in Eldora. We got a six-minute first heat. Did not have the restart gear in it. Um, we're three wide for P7. I don't know. We're three wide. I'm stuck on the top. I don't like the top here. Oh, shit. Hi there, Marco Andretti. We're three wide now stuck in the middle. Tony Stewart is in last. Or actually, we're battling Tony Stewart to take, to take 11th, and now he drops to last. We are side by side, three wide for position. We need to get up to the front in order to catch some points on Elio Castroneves. Either that or finish in front of him in both heats. That's really what we need to do. Um, but we really need to win. But we're taking this inside lane and we are able to work with this. We have gained several positions in the last couple laps with just over five minutes to go in the first heat. Diving it underneath Bobby Labonte here for P4, trying to get that run on him. But we cannot get the run that we need. For, uh, we do get around him there for fourth po position, so uh, we're now going to chase down Scott Speed for P3. Elio fucking Castroneves is up in P1 now. Oh my god. He is undefeated. He's winning a lot. Bill Elliott's up here too, so... We're actually going to pass him for P3 just now. Uh, slide up in front of him, but we can't slide too far because it's got speed there. Four minutes, 20 seconds left to go in this heat. And we're going to take over P2 from Scott Speed. And now we got to chase down the man, the points leader, Elio Castroneves. He is quick. We've got to finish ahead of him or something. Or else he's just going to keep gaining more points on us. This is going to be tight. We're catching him. We're about it. We're just under a second behind him. But we are catching him, not quickly, but we're getting there. Right up against that wall. That was beautiful. Five tenths of a second now separates us from Elio Castroneves, and unfortunately, we went to the top, which is not where I need to be. Or that wasn't really the top. That was kind of more the middle. But we do not be, need to be anywhere but the bottom line. This is where I'm the fastest. We're just under a half a second now on him. We are right on his tail. We're catching him. Elio Castroneves is putting down laps, but we're putting down faster laps. We're going to slide right next to him on the inside. Three minutes left in this heat. 
We're going to take over P1 for um, Elio Castroneves, but he's going to sneak underneath us. Doesn't matter. We have the drive off. We're back up on the top side as he takes the bottom. Actually had to back out of that one just a little bit. I got a little too free up there. So Elio Castroneves takes over P1 again. But we're going to be chasing him down once again. Down to the inside. We got a little loose. We're pushing him up the track. And we're holding the middle over here. Just over two minutes to go. And we're going to take the lead once again from Elio Castroneves. Slide up in front of him. And we move. It's actually getting underneath us again. I was not paying attention to where I was going. Um, so we swap positions once again. But we're going to try and dive bomb him here into turn one, which we do. And we are going to take over the lead once again. Elio's sticking it underneath once again. But he's not going to get there in time. We're stuck on the outside of him. Oh, we make contact here for the lead. Cody Swanson's actually closing in on us as well. We're actually giving up time to third place since we're racing hard. Get up into the wall there just a little bit through th turns one and two. But we're going to dive bomb him here into turn three and four. Dive underneath him. Give him the good old slide job here. And we're going to take the lead back with just over a minute to go. Look at the battle for second back there between Cody Swanson and Elio Castroneves. This is good. We want them to battle so we can drive away. We do not want Cody Swanson to get him, though, because Cody Swanson has been putting down some flyers. He's been going through here a lot quicker than I have. So uh, we will see if he catches us, but it's not looking good for him. Just over a minute left here in this race. Or excuse me, just under a minute left here in this race. Now 54 seconds. We're not really able to hold it as much as I want to now, but in all honesty, we are still out front, so that's all that matters. We're going to have about three or four laps to go if you factor in time, so... Not too much left in this race, or in this heat. Oh, we nailed the inside wall there. Oh, what the hell? That gave us a ton of damage. That should not have given that much damage, but it's all right. We're still leading. That's all that matters. Uh, we are eight-tenths of a second ahead, and that's going to be two laps to go as time expires. So we're going to be coming to the white flag here, and we are going to hopefully hold on to this uh, heat. Looks like Cody Swanson is not able to catch us here. Just over half a second to him. But coming through three and four, we're going to win another heat here in Eldora. So, or excuse me, we're going to win the first heat here in Eldora. Cody Swanson second, and there's the uh, finishing results for heat one. So with that, the uh, field is going to be inverted. We're going to be starting last here in heat two. All right, we're lined up for heat two. We are in the back of the pack. So we got to work our way up through the field and see what we can do. Green flag is back out for heat two, and we are back underway. As we miss a couple shifts there, but we move. We're running up on the top. Diving underneath Cody Swanson there. We are almost touching him, but we're we're actually moving through the field pretty quick already. We're up into P7. We, able, we were able to get that bottom pretty quick. Oh, Bill Elliott's there. I didn't see him. I wanted to move up. And now I'm three, or not three wide. I'm now getting booted up to the top. And whoever hit me, I believe that might have been Cody Swanson. He spun, so we have a caution here as we're going to re-rack him and stack him here. Coming through three and four, green flag back out in the air. We're back underway with five minutes, just over five minutes here in the heat. I just hit an invisible wall, which is cool, and now Cody Swanson gets underneath again. Got up into Michael Waltrip there, and we're falling back pretty quick now. Still battling out here with Scott Speed here in the back of this pack, but... We need to get down to the bottom, and there we go. We are able to get to the bottom and get underneath Tony Kanan there and take over P11. Stick it on the bottom here some more. Look at everybody lined up and stacked up here. Taking over P10, and we slide underneath four P9. Elio Castroneves is back here, which is good. We want him here, but he's going to sneak underneath us and get us uh, once again. So, we are sitting here in P8. Uh, just made the pass on Elio for P7. Didn't know I was side-by-side uh, -side with him there, but... Here we are, diving in here once again. Trying to take P6 and P5. Marco Andretti is P5. Bill Elliott's P6, way up on the top. And we're gonna take out... We're gonna take both of those spots from them on the bottom. Tony Stewart has really opened up a lead here. Marco Andretti threw it under there, and we just hit him. But we move. We still try to battle it out for P3 with Bobby Labonte. 
as long, like I said, as long as Elio Castroneves finishes behind us in the heats and the in the race, we will gain points on him. Just make the pass on Paul Tracy. I'm surprised he hasn't wrecked yet. Uh, if you know, you know he wrecks a lot in SRX. So uh, there you go. We uh, take over P2, and now we got to chase down Tony Stewart for uh, for the lead. We're closing in on Tony Stewart now. We just crossed the line for about two minutes forty seconds. Uh, we are just over three tenths of a second behind Tony Stewart. This bottom lane is really cooking. We're now right on Tony Stewart's back bumper. Oh, I wrecked him. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I I closed in on him a little a little faster than I expected, and that caused me to wreck him. But regardless, we have the lead. Unfortunately, not the cleanest. So we're gonna be racked back up here for P1, and we're gonna take the green flag once again as the leader. Tony Stewart drops way back there. Here comes Cody Swanson again to the inside. We're going to lose the lead going down into three and four. So he's going to take the lead, and we're going to actually swap him here. Looks like we're sliding underneath him. Still side by side. Oh, I went up the track. God damn it. No, there you are. Three wide for second. Holy shit. Three wide for second. Now Andretti takes the lead from us. Side by side for the lead. We're stuck up here on the top once again. Making contact with Marco Andretti. Just under two minutes to go here. Nobody's below us, so we're going to be able to take that bottom if we can. So we're going to be able to hold off P2. Michael Waltrip back there in P3. Still trying to catch up uh, with us. Dive it down underneath Marco Andretti, and we take the lead once again. Oh, I lied. Marco Andretti's coming up underneath us again. So we're side by side for the lead. I slid way too far there. As now Andretti's able to extend that gap just a little bit. But we're going to be able to hold that bottom and try and take him on once again. Side by side for the lead through one and two. And we're going to slide. Not going to slide job him, but we do take the lead, as you see. Once again, with just under a minute to go, we're in a good position to win this heat once again. Here comes Marco Andretti on the inside. Three wide for a split second there through one and two. And here comes Elio Castroneves again. These IndyCar guys are fucking killing it on the dirt in this game. Holy shit. Elio Castroneves takes the lead from us. And he is going to be leading with 20 seconds to go. Which means we've got about three second, or three laps to go in this race. 15 seconds, yeah. So that's going to be right at two or three laps. We take the lead back from Elio Castroneves. Going to be crossing the line here for what could be the final lap. Yes, it is. It's going to be the final lap this time, actually. So we actually got lucky with the way that the laps fell. Elio Castroneves is going to be hitting in second. We have the lead through three and four. And we're going to extend that gap coming off of four. We win heat two. And that's going to put us on the front row for the main event. So since we won both heats, we're going to start P1. Uh, looks like we're going to have some interesting lineups. Cody Swanson actually starting P2, so uh, we will see what we can do here for the main event. We'll see how many laps we've got, and we're going to take the green flag here. Coming off a of turn two, three and four, 25 lapper here for the main event. And we're going to jump out to the lead here. Uh, double file behind. Here comes Elio Castroneves trying to peek inside. We have the We have the line. We have the outside lane here, trying to hold it. Elio is fast as hell on the inside, right up on our door. We have the inside clear, so we're going to take that back as we do lose the position. 23 to go. We're going to dive bomb him here, and we're going to actually pull a very clean slide job off of two. That was beautiful. That is a textbook move here on dirt. So we're out front here, 21 laps to go. Elio Castroneves is just about a half a second back. Everybody else is over a second back, so it's probably going to be another two-man battle here between me and Elio Castroneves. So far, we have scored more points than him, so we're going to close that gap ever so slightly. But with him finishing second, and uh, I don't I don't remember what he finished in either heat. I know he finished second in the heat two, but for heat one, I don't know where he finished. So regardless, we're not going to close it too much, but... We gave him a little shot there out of four. Uh, like I said, we're not going to close too much, but we're going to close that gap just a little bit. We might actually move up some positions 
uh, since we're sitting in P5. We were pretty close to a couple other guys in the points, so we'll see what happens here. But 18 laps to go. Still battling it out. Here comes Cody Swanson. He is just over a half a second back from us. So Cody Swanson now trying to get in this mix. Uh, Elio Castroneves closing the gap some more. Just about a half a second. And I slid way, 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 way too far there. So that's actually going to uh, allow Cody Swanson to close on us. Elio Castroneves gets past me. And now Cody Swanson gets past me. Uh, for second, and look at this battle, he's gonna take, the oh, they make contact, Cody Swanson's around, and Elio Castroneves takes the lead, well, I guess he didn't really take it, he holds the lead, and Cody Swanson is gonna be tore all to hell after that, he hit the inside wall hard, so we're lined up here, that's gonna extend the race a little bit, since there was a caution, on the outside, we do not get a good start, and, oh, we're wrecking again, Stewart and Scott Speed came together there, and then that forced Scott Speed in front of me, and it was on from there. Just like that, two back-to-back -back wins. Cody Swanson is back up in a second. So we fall back to fourth here. We're going to try and get a good restart once again, but I don't think it's going to happen. We forget to shift out a second, but we move. We're in P5. We're holding this top up here. Look at Tony Kanon. We hit the wall there. No big deal. Gotta try and get down to the bottom. I cannot hold this outside lane. We're gonna dive down to the bottom here underneath Ernie Francis Jr. We cut across three lanes of traffic there. That was a ballsy move. But we survive, and now we have the bottom lane, and we're gonna be able to uh, try and take these positions again. Dive in here underneath uh, Cody Swanson for P5. Trying to get that position back. We do, and we're going to slide all the way up in front of him, but we lose that spot to Tony Stewart. Cody Swanson gets in front of Tony Stewart. Look at Elio fucking Castroneves. He is just dominating these dirt races, and I don't know why. Oh, they make contact above me. Cody Swanson and Bobby Labonte for, I believe that was P4, but we're going to take over P3, so it doesn't even matter. Look at Bill Elliott up here. And that's another caution. I didn't touch anybody, so I wonder who uh, made contact there. Either way, we're going to be restarting P3 on the bottom. No problem. We might be able to jump down here and take the lead again. Again, the race gets extended every caution we get. So uh, we always end with green flag, or we always end under green. Yellow flag laps do not count. We're going to door the absolute shit out of Bill Elliott and put ourselves in the wall, but we take over P2, no problem. And now it's back up here with Elio Castroneves. We gotta try and take over this lead once again. Eight laps to go through turn two once again. And we are still holding it pretty good. Holding about a two tenths of a second lap, or two tenths of a second uh, gap between us and Elio Castroneves. We do have some pretty decent damage. Uh, so we are gonna be a little bit disadvantaged over Elio, but. I still think we're fast enough to get them even with the damage. Six laps to go here in this race. Here we go. Now we've got the run to the inside. We're going to make a little bit of contact there. Force them up the track. And we're going to have that inside lane. We've got the run. We've got the position. He dives underneath us. We give him a little scare. We slide right back down in front of him. And we take the lead once again here in Eldora. We are really good at these dirt tracks, so... Hopefully, if we hold on to this uh, win, we will be in a good points position for the rest of the season to try and hold that off. So we're actually opening our gap up about a half a second over Elio Castroneves. Three laps to go in this race. And we've opened uh, up to just about a second over Elio Castroneves. We're going to be taking the white flag here through three and four for the, final for the uh, second to last time. White flag this time by... Elio is trying to close. We do drift up just a little bit, but no big deal. We don't lose that much time. Fuck it, I'm going to run the outside. Uh, regardless, we sweep the race uh, here in Eldora. So we finished first in every race. It's a max points day. Take a look at your finishing results. Elio Castroneves, Cody Swanson, Marco Andretti, uh, Tony Stewart, T Ernie Francis Jr., Michael Waltrip, Bobby Labonte, Bill Elliott, Scott Speed. Bill Elliott kind of surprises me. That was He, he dropped it after that last run. So uh, Paul Tracy and Tony Kanon round out your field here in Eldora. 
like I said, we had a max points day, so I'm curious to see what this will do in the points. It actually moves us up into P3, so, um, yeah, we will go back to the menu and we'll take a look at the uh, points standings. All right, so the uh, next race is Lucas Foil, a.k.a. IRP. Uh, we are in P3. Uh, we have two wins on the season. Elio Castroneves, I don't know how he's able to extend that points lead over everybody as he does not have a single win uh we have two wins uh we make we're making up for that first race that we did for sure um but we are only one point back from tony stewart 27 back from elio castro neves so we're getting there uh take a look at the rest of the point standings here uh scott speed rounds that out um i do believe that's the first race he's ran this season so um that makes sense there um, so guys, that'll do it for this race. Uh, like I said, the next race is going to be Lucas Oil's uh, Raceway. Uh, it's going to be a pavement race. Um, it's going to be another 27-minute uh, main event. Uh, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Um, all my social media links are in the uh, description uh, down below. Um, so we will see you for the next race here in, in the SRX Championship. Take care, guys, and have a great night.